Hello friends. If somebody asks me what is the greatest thing which India has given to the whole world, then my answer would be nothing. Wait, wait, wait. What do you want to say? Can't you see? I'm you mean that video. India has not contributed anything to this world? Oh, I never meant that. Yes, this is what you said. This is what I heard. You said nothing. Then what do you mean? Brother, I meant to say the number zero is the biggest thing which India has given to the whole world and to the world of mathematics. Oh, really? Were you talking about the number zero? Yes, this is what I meant to say. Oh, I am really sorry. Carry on. Sorry, carry on. Sorry, sorry for interrupting. Okay. Anyways, thanks. It's okay. It's okay. Thank God. So friends, the number system which we use today, in which there are ten numerals zero, one, two, three, up to nine, was discovered in India. This system was developed around 500 A.D., and there are evidences which show that in ancient India, the number zero was being used. There is a small temple in the fort of Gavalier, and the inscriptions in the walls of the temple shows that zero was being used. Specifically, two numbers, two hundred seventy and fifty, have been used specifically for the area of land and number of flowers. And this system of numeral is known as Hindu Hindu Arabic numeral system. Yes, friends. The system is known as Hindu Arabic numeral system. And here, I would like to give credit to one famous mathematician, Al Khwarizmi. Muhammad Al Khwarizmi was one who translated Indian mathematics and Greek mathematics, and he was the one who carried this system to the Western world and popularized it. And this is how it traveled to the whole world. And that's why it is known as Hindu Arabic numeral system. And Al Khwarizmi is also known as father of modern algebra. And it was after his name the term algebra was coined. Now, question is why only base ten was used? The answer is very simple. We have ten fingers in both the hands, and most of the counting and calculations were used using fingers of the hands. Let us consider. I have twenty-seven different objects. And this system of writing 27 objects and counting them is a tedious job, especially if the number becomes very large. So in this system of numeral, how do we write 27? 27 is written as two groups of 10 each means two times 10 and seven. So 27 can be expressed as two times 10 plus seven. Similarly, if I have a number. Say 135. How will I express 135 objects? I will make a 10 by 10 group, means of 100 objects, and then three rows of 10 each, and five in the end. So 135 can be expressed as one times 10 raised to the power two plus three times 10 plus five times 10 raised to the power zero. So this is how 135 is expressed. And now let us consider I have even a bigger number, and the number is. Forty-three thousand two hundred and seventeen. How will I express this number? This number will also be expressed in the same way: four times ten raised to the power four plus three times ten raised to the power three plus two times ten square plus one times ten plus seven times ten raised to the power zero. And this is the expanded form of forty-three thousand two hundred and seventeen. This is how we express. Different numbers in base ten numeral system. Next time, I'll come up with some other base systems. For example, octal system, binary system, hexadecimal system, sexadecimal system. If you like this video, hit on like button. Subscribe to watch more videos. See you next time with a new video. Till then, thank you and have a nice day.